this is the first try there was no practice he asked me to do some extra ones i said no we record the beginning so let's see how does this go oh yes Did you see that <laughs> today we're gonna try to learn slice not try we're gonna learn slice i'm gonna show you some basics yeah we're gonna share that with you guys stretch in the chest so then i can keep the, the balance position Whoa! <laughs> nice! Hi everyone, my name is Milan Krnjetin from Serbia. I'm founder of 10 Fitmen and I'm a professional tennis player and coach. Yeah, welcome back to another 10 Fitmen video and we're gonna do some basics on the back and slice. You know, almost learning from the scratch. Also here, we haven't kind of really covered the slice yet, so we're gonna do it today. I'm gonna share all the steps with you. Let's go. So, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna talk about the basics, the fundamentals. I'm gonna break it down in a couple of steps and explain what are the important parts. So you can kind of get the idea. Then I'm gonna demonstrate a few slices. You will be the coach, you will give me some balls. And then eventually I'll give you some drills and maybe we can even rally after that. But let's see. So basically we need to start with the grip. It has to be the hammer grip. You know the hammer grip? Yes. It's like your serve grip or volleys when you're the net, right? So that's gonna be the grip. And then I have a little twist though. So this is what I'm talking about. The regular hammer grip is here. Right, and this is the serve grip and also forehand volley and I like to make this a little twist here so I can have more support on this side. So not, not here, but it's gonna be a little bit more like this. So you need to feel force from here. So you can keep that in mind. We're gonna start with the, with the swing. The first important thing, and we start with the split step, the first thing we do is to turn. This is called initiation of the swing. And you take the racket here in, with the left arm, with the left hand and throw to the racket with the right grip and this is the initiation right and then we're gonna reach this high leverage position here now watch this can I see it? Yeah. so exactly there so the racket face is now square to the net just remember that right the racket face square to the net because this this is not square right we need to make this angle so there is should be some wrist involved right so this is the first thing I'm gonna go here and then I'm gonna go in the side position Right? And this is not finished preparation. This is just the first part because then I need to search. I need to search, adjust, right? The next important thing is how we're gonna transfer the weight forward on the front leg with the, with the front shoulder kind of leaning forward, right? At the same time, we're gonna pull the racket downwards a bit and watch this. From this angle, the racket goes and still keep that's square to the net orientation, right? So from here, you go and bam, go here. So it's kind of like, you need to change the planes here. From there, you're gonna go and here. And at the same time, the left arm will separate. Yeah, think about this. So you go here and then the weight is more on the back foot and then I fast the weight more forward and I separate arms and kind of stretch my chest at the end it's going to more be like this what is i really focus on getting this stretch in the chest so then i can keep the, the balance position right if i don't do that i'm going to lose the balance here so you need to stay sideways and stretch the chest like this right okay and watch this now after this after i get to the contact point and i'm stretching two important things head stays still don't move the head and this arm keeps going forward all the way you stand right and carry the ball think about slice slice is more like carrying the ball right it's not we're not gonna we're not gonna hit the slice we're gonna kind of carry the ball right if i just show it here it's gonna be more like carry right it's not a, it's not hitting the ball it's carrying right so can i see just the shadow swing if you remember First, the grip is correct, it's very important. Can I see the grip? Okay, again, from the beginning, sure. That's the first thing. So this is the number, guys, 
here. Bam! Immediately, it needs to be very like compact sway, right? We don't want to go here and then here, but it's immediately bam here. Pops away fast, so we're never gonna be late. And then side one two steps, and then we lean forward here. And I see how you lean forward. Lean forward, okay, and extend, extend all the way. So bring it back to the leverage position. Good. Now when you go forward, this shoulder leans forward. We need that's it. We need this shoulder or shoulder. We need zik, zik here. We cannot stay same level as shoulders because then we'll probably end up hitting like slides like this. So more here and then this way. Let me see. The front shoulder goes down. That's it. And try to get with the legs. Yeah, there's a lot of things, but the legs are more flexible here. And kind of you need to be you need to be low on slides. Usually it's when the ball is low, so bam, look, almost like sitting on a chair. And you you, you don't wanna get up as you can you wanna stay there, right? Or even follow through this way. Okay, so let's do some demonstration. I'm gonna hit a few slices and maybe you can also help me hit from other side. Okay? Okay, so I will demonstrate, you can also watch. And then he will throw me some balls here as well. So start here, turn, bam, right? And the goal is to get that low, low effect on the slice. Bam, right? It's unreturnable. Top, bam. And now you can, you can throw me the ball from here. So I'm ready. Up, bam, nice one. And then the split step, up. Nice coach, good feet. Up, cross court. Good. I'm gonna go for really heavy one. Woo! That's unreturnable. You see that? So we want to learn this because this kind of shot, in my opinion, is very underrated, which means it has much more value than people see it. So we can learn this and then improve it, master it, and that can be a huge weapon for you, right? Because if you know most players especially this age, you know, just playing this kind of same balls, loopy balls, and then if you're able to mix up the game with this kind of slices, and you, you saw that, that one is like, you either get a super easy ball, or they cannot return it, right? So let's do some drills, and let's see how you can learn it, or, you know, master it. So first, we'll start with a, with a very basic step, that is, you're gonna start with a turn already, so we're gonna assume that you're ready, and sideways, with the leverage position, I'm gonna simply toss the ball here, right? Now, you might need to make an extra step. So you might need to make this step or this step, right? Maybe it's not the deal. You need to judge it, right? So let's see. But this is the right position. And let's see. This is the first try. There is no practice. He asked me to do some extra ones. I said no. We record the beginning. So let's see how this goes. Oh, yes. Exactly. That's very common. Okay. Can you repeat again the, the main steps? I want you to focus on shoulder needs to go forward and then this part, this is the key now. Now how you go with the right foot forward? Stop. So, yes. Why the first ball went like that? You did two times the cut, right? Yeah. Your racket face was open. So we need to go the left, more square, and then you're gonna open. Then you're gonna open actually. So you're not gonna do this. You're gonna go here and then you're gonna carry foot yeah. So you need to and with a flat right this. That's it. Okay, that felt much better. Okay, and try to stay sideways. I know now you have to focus on more things. Well, what you're doing now, this is good, but you're a bit open. Remember to stretch and stay side, sideways here. Do one shadow swing. So what I like to do is to incorporate shadow swings when you're learning uh, something new. And in this case, this motion is completely new for Austria here. So, one more time. Let's do one shadow, where you're gonna focus on that separation and side. Yes. And, right. 
stay side. See, it's still open for now. Square and stay side. That's it. Ready? And stop. Okay. Can you freeze after you finish? Stop. Let me see. Up. Stop. Don't move, don't move, stay there. Don't move. Right? The angle changed. And watch this. So when I do the slice, angle should be like this. Yes, the racket might go there. The left arm should be a bit further back. But this angle of the racket should be similar to here. Watch this. You see the angle? So we have this angle here. When you go here, you extend the racket. And you yes. It's fixed. It's fixed. It's fixed and fixed. Right? There is no, there is no wrist in it. The wrist is fixed, and you go here and carry. Here, stop, carry. Right? Go without this. You need to do shadow swing so you understand. And this with the grip also helps. The way you grip here. Right? So it's, it's look, look the finish. Right? So here. Kind of, this is important. This one, keep close to you. Here, and during the swing, the racket kind of stays closer to you. Don't allow this one to go away from you, right? So if I shoot the camera, right? If I play there. Don't allow this one to go far from you, but keep it closer. Far, and then here.
Okay. Wow, that's amazing. First time he's doing the slice. We need to explain, demonstrate, they can understand visually and also the key points. You can tell how he was slowly adjusting and you know getting better with this. Really amazing, but this is not easy. Like a lot of players struggle with this and it takes time. So you need to have patience and uh, determination and the will. Now I'm gonna also show one exercise that you can also practice. This is in general for all the levels and he can also try it. So you can try also for the for the first time because it really helps you understand how you use the upper body, right? So we're gonna go on the knee with the back foot. If it's a bit, are you gonna be okay? You might, you can put something there. I think it's fine. We are tough, right? Yeah. So here, and I will feed you the ball, but the, the point will be to start here again, right? And then you're gonna just carry the ball, right? And do the same, the same part there, but you're not gonna use much legs here. So here. And the, the same thing, like you, we need to separate and carry the thing and head still stays still. Okay? Can you come here? Let's see. Let me, Let me see the leverage position. So show me how you're gonna do it without the ball. Okay, so again, more square to them and then open. Okay, and then stay sideways. I wanna see you stretch your chest. There you go. That was good. And up. Whoa! And up. Wow, you're making every every shot now. Okay, let's see from this angle. And up. Okay, that was a bit too much slicing. So, carry. Okay. And carry. Nice. Stay sideways, let me see. Sideways. Okay. And up. Nice. Okay, match point here. Oh. Under pressure. Give you one, only one. Woo! other side so I'm gonna be here so it's gonna be more realistic ball he will have to adjust the position and then play the slice so I first give you a few feeds and we'll see if we can even try to rally but that's gonna be pretty much impossible but let's go Whoa! Okay, so 
I cannot believe, huh? I also cannot believe. L literally, we never did slice before. You never played. First time. And you all are witnesses. This is very special. Can you share with them a little bit of experience, like how you felt, which parts, which, which like advice or tips really help you to, to get a feel? What, what do you so, find like very important? I think the racket face, like facing, like the way it faces is very important. So not open, right? Don't like over slice it. Like, exactly. That happened yeah. in a couple, of, the first couple of shots, right? Yeah, and then like, you can make it like this, like same as the net. It square will, to the net, right? Racket face square to the net. It helps a lot, and you can like, carry it out. So you mean when you go here, that it's square to the net, that it's not open. Yeah. Okay. So that was the main thing. Anything else that you found useful? And you. Like, I think the the, the separation, the right? Yes. Like not not overturning, because every time I remind you. Then you do it so good, and it just it looks like Roger Federer. Because yeah. otherwise, you kind of open here. That's amazing. It was fun. That was uh, super exciting, and uh, had a blast. Looks like he also enjoyed it. Did you? Yeah. yeah. So, and we're happy to share that with you. Hopefully, you found it useful, and hopefully, you get some value from it and use some of these tips, you know, to improve your slice. And if you like this video, please subscribe. And leave a comment down below. Okay. And the video, this video, we need... Uh, 
thumbs up. <laughs> you can smash that like button. Yeah, and then you can check all the other social media platforms, everything below in the description. And uh, check the podcast and so on. But we are super happy here and uh, thank you for watching the video. And we'll see you soon in our next video. Thanks for watching. So it goes in the back end. So lucky. Wow. That was so scary. Woo! The camera just dropped, flipped. There is some wind. We still have the video. Yeah. We're good. We keep rolling. Let's go.